Now the story is about Rinder Selaf. And it goes like this. A tall lime ago in a corn country, there lived this beautiful girl. This beautiful girl's name was Rinder Selaf. Also in this foreign country, there lived the prince and gyms. Well, this prince of gyms was going to have a fancy fall. So he invited people from Riles Amount, even the Pitry Bull. Well, word got to Rindersella's house and Rindersella and her muggly other and who said blesses. While Rinder Sellers mugged the other and the two sad whiskers went out to buy some beautiful dresses. Rinder Sella couldn't go. Because all she had to wear was some old dirty dags. Well, the night of the Bansy Fall arrived and Rinder Sella couldn't go. So she just sat down and shrouded. But while she was a kitten there shrouded, there appeared before her a Gary Mudfather. This Gary Mudfather said, I'd love to go to this Bansy Fall, wouldn't you? Indersella said, Yes. Well, the Gary Mudfather waved her gadget mond, and there appeared before her a cage stoke and thick white source. Take her Indersella to the Bansy Fall. But the Gary Mudfather waved her wedged mond again. Grindersella was dressed in a beautiful bound. But take her to this bouncy ball. So, the Gary Mudfather says, You'll be home before midnight, or I'll turn you into a pumpkin. So off Grindersella went to the bouncy fall. Well, she was greeted at the at the door by the prince of ints because he had been watching behind a wooden window. Well, they danced all night until midnight, and they lowered five. Well, Rindersella had to go, so she stays down the rares. And just as she beached the rodham, she slopped her dripper. The Prats and Pins picked up the slop dripper. The next day, he went out into this corn country, searching for the beautiful burrow with that slopped her dripper. Well, he finally came to Rindersella's house. And Rindersella's muggly other. He fuck her toot. He tried it on, and it's bitten dits. He tried it on Rindersella's mo the uh, Sigliusters, and it bitten dit. Then he came to Rindersella. He fuck her toot. He tried it on, and it bid dit. It was just the sight rise. So they got married and lived heavily after afterwards. Now the story of the Mori is this. If you want to catch a prince of his and have him woe and fall with this, don't forget to slop your dripper. Thanks, you had it. That's the way my dad told me that story and I can't tell it forward. Locked in my brain that way. I hope you enjoyed it. Got a chuckle out of it. Play it again for your kids. Whatever, but I hope you actually enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, eh? But don't forget, slop your dripper.